see we've got the majority that we've got all the rest of the frame in so the sides have been put in with the rivet staggered and offset to give maximum strength we've, we've pre-drilled and done all the tops so then when the hinge that we've got here will then fit for the top door we've got the bottom pre-cut and made and marked up so then that will make the bottom door if we move over to the door now which we've got behind us I've cut down the various forms of which is like a type of trailer type um, lorry board siding now this, the, this, this one here is a male female section that intersects and clips into a, a member of its own size yet again um, and it will also fit into section. Now these are going to have to be the top and bottoms and then the others can then inter interconnect with it. Now to finish those off we have this channel section that clips around the outside of the of the actual doors. So this this one here is a bottom one and I have Another bottom one made, and I've just literally got one end to make, and then that's done, and that's the other bottom door made as well. Jeff, over here, is drilling out all my holes for my, uh, um, for these. So I have all these holes drilled. And at the moment, he's just deburring the, the hinges that we've got for the, for the other side. Right, so once we've got, once we've got the, the two bottom doors made, we'll install the bottom doors, we'll work out then where the closing points are, so then, then when we then make, when the do top door is completed, we can work out what the intersect point is and how much we might have to cut off the top door to get it to, so then they both work together. moment is I'm uh, wiring in the interior what we've done is we've decided to go for a bit of a, an upgraded kit from the standard uh, defender dashboard so the standard defender dashboard is quite utilitarian it's it's um, I mean this one we've got a slightly upgraded version where it's got a bit of uh, vinyl on the the outside of it which uh, the VIA guys have um, painted for us which is pretty good uh, it's come out pretty well so what, so what we've uh, what we decided to do to give it even more of a lift is we've used this stuff from uh, Raptor Engineering. So the idea is is that it replaces certain dash components. This particular piece sits in the middle of the dash like this. It looks like it sticks out far at the moment because obviously I haven't I can't fit it in at the moment until I've finished the uh, wiring that I'm doing. But one of the things we're having to do is because. Um, because it, um, we're moving our temperature gauge and fuel gauge from over in the centre of the console back into the binnacle in the centre, all of my wires are a wee bit short. So it's a simple job, I just have to identify which wires are which because it's been months and months and months since we've actually unplugged them. Um, so I managed to get hold of a, a copy of the Haynes Book of Lies and that's not been very helpful. I've ended up having to trace the, the wires from uh, uh, up, up the top here and do a continuity check to the um, uh, temperature sensor for the engine. So I've identified that it's a completely different coloured wire from what it says in the Haynes Book of Lies. So I think my Haynes Book of Lies comment is quite justified. Um, so yeah, what we're doing is I'm just extending those to go into the new binnacle. Once I've done that, I can start fitting um, new pieces into the dash. 
and you can just see here some of the bits you might have seen on the shorter videos that we've done. This is uh, an example of some of the stuff that the VIA guys have painted. It's quite dusty at the moment because there's a lot of uh, fabrication going on around me, aluminium being ground down and whatnot. But uh, when it's finished, our dash should have a nice base of black, uh, blue highlights and then silver tints for the, the main components. But at the moment, it's just sort of a basic wiring and getting together. And later on, hopefully, if we've got uh, a bit, bit of spare money or whatnot, we'll put some um, extra lighting on top and at the front. And that's when the, I'm not going to get it out again, but the large piece that I just showed you here, we'll wire in all the switches to it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to at the moment. So we're now on the next stage uh, of the build, which is uh, getting the engines back in uh, and running. Um, so as you can see, this one's sort of partially in. Uh, just putting the uh, the new turbo on at the moment, along with uh, complete new exhaust system, uh, which needs to be on. Uh, on the front here, uh, the front timer cover needs to go on uh, with new water pumps. Uh, it's going to be a new viscous fan uh, being put on this, new thermostat, all new gaskets. Uh, so hopefully uh, the engine won't leak. Uh, but we all know how famous Land Rovers are for leaking oil. Uh, we've done the same on the Defender, which is a little bit further along. We're just waiting on uh, a little bit of the wiring to be done. Uh, so as you can see, this was a uh, brand new, brand new engine, uh, brand new turbo, had all new uh, silicon hoses put on, uh, and literally we're just down to the point of uh, making sure this is uh, this is all wired up correctly from battery ignition back to the engine, so we can uh, hopefully get a uh, turning over and running uh, by today. But we hopefully. Uh, we'll have the same uh, same to do on the uh, on the on the discovery uh, for uh, this afternoon. A busy weekend. What have you been up to? What have I been up to? Oh, what have you been up to? Working hard here. here doing what? What have you been doing? I've been out there working, spraying, rubbing down. What have you been spraying? Tires, oh, you've tires. been doing the checker plate, haven't you? I saw. I saw prep to are ready for the going to the defender, uh, isn't it? I've been up the checkers. I don't know. You've been up the checkers, have you? Aye. Sunbathing, I. Yeah, there's Jeff here. Like Jeff's been working hard as well this Jeff weekend. Look at, his, hard, look at, he's actually that's his face clean. He was like yeah. a coal man earlier on. So, right, John, show us around what we're doing then. Right, see what we've done today. Look at those tyres. Oh, I am liking them, mate. Yeah. Yeah. They're good, aren't they? I'm not too happy about the tyres though because they're them white and yellow matching. I think they'll go when we drive them. You reckon? I'm hoping so. And they're in there. We need some wheel trims on there. Then wheel plastic. trims. It's not like a normal motor, mate. Oh. Don't have wheel trims, mate. No? No, no, I need wheel trims. Oh. So what else have we got on? Well. Oh, look, they've been putting Dane stuff in this engine. Oh, bumpers oh, on as well, know, eh? Bumpers on. I'm not too happy about the things that... There's something missing from here, I can see. Aye, the belt's not still got to go in there, mate. The, the belt, like so what they have done, though? What they have done? What they have done? Yeah. Put what a they new... have done? They've not topped that up. I'm not put, too happy about I see, that. It doesn't need that right now. They're putting a new turbo on, like, that's what they've done. Look, see that down there? Right. That's a new turbo there. Huh? Look at that, eh? New turbo. See, if we're on that, we could have whipped that down the road. So this one is the far from being ready now. We're hoping to have this fired up this week, MOT'd, and uh, get it on the road. On the road, on the road. So one thing that Rob's been working on this week, there was a repair that needed done in this bumper. Uh, as you can see, just down there in the corner. Oh, you the road there. There's, a <laughs> there's a repair just been done on there. So that's all good. Uh, so. A, long, a lot of work's been done in this day. All the oils have been checked. All, it's all oiled up now. Uh, all greased up underneath. Literally everything underneath has just been done. Uh, Duncan is now working on putting the 
reflectors onto the uh, new bumper that we've got. Brand new bumper, so the lights have been put on in them. Uh, what else has been done in here? The wiring's getting done in this. Wiring's, wiring's been done, right? Uh, we're going to have a bit of checker plate put on the back there. Oh, here's another bit that's been done this weekend. Uh, we took the windows out of this, so we have now put a plate in there. It's all siliconed in, ready for painting, primed. Both sides, you can see that side in there. So that'll be good for logos and stuff like that when we, we do it. You're not happy with that, no. So, the Defender as well this weekend. New, this put, new pair of boots on the Defender. Eh? Look at them. Look at them. They are the business, aren't they? Look at that. That is good news. Uh, started doing the dash, so Mac has been working on the electrics in here. As you can see, we've got lights. Have a look at the back. Oh, we've got rear lights as well now. They've just done... Just lift a second, wired up the back here. Oh, look at they are Gucci, aren't they? Yeah, check this out as well. Yeah, don't, they are nice. Don't look at them, though. So, there's the new lights. Look at that. Eh? They are good. We got the indicators gone yet, no? No, they're not wired in yet. So, the new lights. I'm actually going to take you around the front. I'm going to take you around the front to show you the Gucci lights in the front. So, we're just, we're just tracing the wires of these. Gucci, Gucci, I'm of a certain age. Can we not just stop oh, here? Snorkel, snorkel. Yeah, snorkel. We've got a snorkel. See, we've got his own name on there. Defender, Defender snorkel. Look how good that is. And, and, and you get a, a wee bag to go with it, don't you? Yeah, a wee bag. You get a wee bag to go with yeah. that, aye. Really deep aye. <laughs> aye. Yeah, That's an extra filter, that is. So, on the front. Mark's going to give us a wee demonstration. We put these lovely lights on the front of the vehicle. Lovely lights. Look at these. Mark does give a demonstration, he'd like to say he's still chasing a fault with side lights. And all right, we've not got it all done yet, but just have a look at these lights. So we've got one light on there now, but look at that. That is the business. Look at them. They are smart as, aren't they? Yeah, they are. But we've still got a bit to do with the wiring. There's a lot of chasing wires. The old wiring was a mess, if I'm honest. Uh, them but now we're, lights, we're just getting on now. Uh, so if MD flashes in these lights, they're going to get a blast, a big heavy beam there, like you know. So what else have been done in this? Silicon hoses all round uh, and here. New turbo in here as well, just show you that. Turbo, that's a turbo there, look. Uh, is that the turbo there, is it, John? That's turbo, yeah. Aye, uh, new turbo. New uh, turbo. You knew that as well, didn't you? Aye, uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, you knew uh, that. The new turbo, I'm not, I'm silicon not, hoses. I'm not as stupid as what people make out. Brand new engine in here, so this is like... This is the business this is. So, Rob has been working non-stop this weekend. I'm going to show you the finished door on the side first. So this is the bottom half of the door. So if you can just see that, just, just take that down, John. Just take that down so you see how it works. So we've still got the seals to go. That will stop. No, it will stop there. It will stop a bit there. When, so we can actually use that as a, a little workbench type thing. And Rob is now working. As you Not see underneath here, this is the other side. Job, you see yeah. underneath here, just working on the frame just now for the top door, which will open up the way, oh, and I'll be on gas struts. So Rob is working on that. So that's the, that one there is the door for the other side, top door for this side, and over here is the top door for the other side. Top door. Uh, Rob is just working on the framework that goes round the side of the, the metal door, and once that's done, we can actually start uh, punching it, sealing it, pop riveting it, and get these doors on. As you see, it's quite a meticulous job. Jeff here is working on the hinges, uh, just uh, countersinking them for the pop rivets to go in so they don't snag on anything. So as you can see, a lot of work done this weekend. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Yeah, yeah,